Okay. I finished that segment anyway. Part two. What do burglars seek? What do they look for? Burglars don't just go pick a house and go to it. Most burglars are scouting for location. What are they scouting for? First thing they're scouting for is the key you left outside. The mailbox, under the doormat, in the door frame, under a rock, in the yard, in the garage, in the tool shed. They're looking for these keys that you left outside. They know where they are. Don't think they just leave a key outside and like, mm. They know where you are. They know where the key is. You might as well leave the door open. It's not a good idea. Don't do it. So the best thing to do with your spare key is give it to a neighbor you trust. You've known for many years and you trust them. Do not give it to a guy that moved into the neighborhood yesterday. Because he might be the burglar. You might come home from work one day and see him sitting on your couch naked watching Teletubbies. Seriously, leave your key with a neighbor that you trust with your life. The burglars are also looking to make sure you did what I discussed five minutes ago. They're making sure your house, your doors are locked or not locked. They're making sure the back door, the side door, the little window. They're looking for these little neat little things they can exploit to get into your house. The more vigilant you are, the less likely they are to bother you. Keep your eyes open for things. If you see a car in front of your house for three hours straight and there's a guy in the car staring at you, call the police. If you see a guy come up to your fence, he's looking around, call the police. Even if you're wrong, no big deal. But if you tell the police and they get more leads, they may know there's a problem. They may know this person that was in front of your house was in front of a couple of other houses, so they have a problem, they're more vigilant. Do not confront people yourself because if you walk up to someone that's just an innocent person, you're going to be in trouble. Even if the person is a criminal, you can be charged with vigilantism. So don't just give a baseball bat and run out the front door after the guy. Just Call the police, write down the license plate number, take a picture of the car, take a picture of the guy, give the police that information. That's the best bet. Burglars know what time the kids go to school, what time the parents go to work. Burglars know that grandpa's retired and goes to the senior center on Wednesday. Burglars know that the elderly couple spends three months of the year in Florida. Burglars try to come in when you're not in. That shit in the movies where you're in sleep and the burglar comes in is bullshit. The burglar wants to come in when you're away. He might come in when you're at the store, but he doesn't know what time you're going to be back. He wants to come in when you're on vacation. Well, one general rule though, when you go out, forget about the Con Ed bill. This light, when you go out, leave one light on your house. The burglar knows it's a trick, but... He doesn't want to take a chance at it. So the best bet is to leave one light on and not worry about it. Most burglars will walk away from it. They don't want to take that chance. When you go on vacation, that's the time you're most vulnerable. Several things you can do. Tell the post office to leave your mail at the post office and pick it up on the way back. Or have a neighbor pick up your mail. If they see the mailbox out to here, you got a problem. Newspapers, you get newspapers delivered to your house. If they see newspapers stacked this high, that's a problem. Suspend your newspaper service for two weeks or whatever you're gone. Or have someone pick them up. Do not write letters to the milkman and leave them on the door. I'm gone for three weeks. Don't do that. That's an invitation to them. UPS packages, stuff like that. You need to tell your neighbors that you trust when you're going to be going away. And tell them, I'll be back Thursday night. So they know if they see the lights on Monday morning, they might think there's a problem. They call police or whatever they have to do. Tell your neighbors to make sure that there's no packages. If UPS leaves a package in front of your door, take it away. First and foremost, the package can be stolen. Second, if there's a whole bunch of packages, target. You have young guys in the neighborhood, college students, high school students. Give them a few dollars. 
tell them to come over, feed the pets, collect the mail, move the packages, just check a quick run, look around the house. Make sure before you go away your plants are watered, your lawn is mowed, make sure the house looks up the code, doesn't look abandoned. Even if the burglars do get wise that your house is unoccupied, if your neighbors are vigilant, they will most likely not want to bother you. That is a very important rule you have to remember. The better the target, the easier the burglar will have. Make your home a very, very difficult target and the burglar will want to move on. And be neighborly. When your neighbor goes on vacation, take his mail in. Take his UPS package in. Feed his cat. Okay? Do for others. Watch out for yourselves. Be vigilant. Don't be the lone person in the neighbor that nobody looks at. Walk around. Know each other. Know when you're going away, when you're coming home. Take care of each other. Be neighborly. That's what neighbor means. Okay, we're going to cut now. We're going to do part three. Part three is going to be a little long, though. Okay.